Today we're going to be making and learning about the positivity from witches' brooms. I'm Brandy, and this is Making It My Own DIYs. Welcome. The first will be a purple autumn broom. We'll start out with some florals that I got from Dollar Tree. Beautiful shades of purple and blue. And this is a little thrifted pick. This one I got at Dirt Cheap. Just a little pine cone pick. And these are also from Dollar Tree. You can get these in a bunch of different shades. So if purple's not your color, grab what you like. You can use zip ties, jute, or floral wire. And then I have a broom that I thrifted. You can pretty much find these in the fall just about anywhere. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of fluff it a little bit. Sometimes these are, they're loose, you know, from the end. So all you have to do because they're tied together is just kind of finagle them around a little bit and push them back through the fabric or the little jute pieces that hold them together. So I want my pieces to be sort of hanging down. And the idea with this, I believe this is amaranthus, is to kind of make this broom a little bit wider. The, it is tied very tightly, very tightly. So you're gonna have to kind of play around with it to get it to push up into there. In my experience with doing brooms, and I have done a couple in the past on my channel, they will stay in place for normal wear, like if you were to keep it inside of your home. Obviously, if you're selling it or you are going to be putting it outside in a covered area, you're going to want to use some very strong glue that will not break down in the weather. But for this one, I mainly just poke the pieces in, but I will show you on the next one how you can glue the pieces down. So I'm going to be adding these here and there. I love that these drop down anyway, that they're kind of that hangy look and they look, you know, kind of spooky yet still beautiful and mysterious. So I think that's perfect. Did you know, by the way, that witches' brooms, they actually signify sweeping away negative energy. So I think that that's awesome. You put the florals in there and you put all these wonderful things that smell good and have good vibes and good meaning. You sweep away the negativity and bring positivity into your life. I think that's great. And people have asked me before, am I a witch? No, I, I do not identify as witch or Wiccan or any of that, but I love everything that is mystical. I'm very open-minded and I love the idea of magic in our world. All right, so this is a really thick stem. It's not gonna fit up in the tightness there of all of those little sticks and branches. So I'm just going to attach it down here with some floor wire. I'm gonna put it nice and tight all around there. And then later on, I will cut the end of that stem off level with the jute that is wrapped around there. So you don't really see it. So far, so good. I have seen a variety of floral brooms. If you go to Pinterest, you can see just a huge amount over there that people have made in a variety of ways and colors. And, and some people like to have their flowers more down into the bottom of the broom. But I'm going to focus mine more up toward the top of the sweeping part. This is part of the Witching Season A Taste of Halloween collaboration with three other friends of mine. I'm going to have their links and I want you to go watch their videos after mine. All right, so we're going to move on to the flowers now. We're going to put a little bend in there so that the flowers, rather than facing up or straight down, are facing outward. I want to focus most of it up there above where we have our little hanging pieces. So maybe between the end of the broom and the first tie, I guess is where it would be. The thickness up there is the, well, I think what I wanna say is the branchy part is tighter there and it's easier for you to poke these thinner pieces into and really hold them into place. And plus, you know, I like the idea of kind of widening it out, giving it more of a triangular look so that's what I am kind of going for here. 
you're gonna you're gonna have some fallout now I'm gonna tell you that it's a broom this happens there's definitely some fallout but you know you can just wipe it off just wipe it off your table not a big deal I'm not afraid of dirt I really am not so you gotta embrace some of that when you're a crafter right especially when you're working with natural elements so you see how this little cosmos is just kind of squished go ahead and grab a heating tool a blow dryer and then you can just keep it moving though you don't want to melt anything you can just fluff it right back out look at that look how pretty and be sure that you spin those around so that you have each of your rows of fabric showing better now if you don't know what i'm talking about in the next project that we do i'll give you a closer example and look of what i'm talking about you really want to take advantage of the flowers that you get from dollar tree because they need a little bit of work but the coloring and the i mean they're they're really really making improvements in the florals and i see it all the time when i go in there from season to season they're so much better because look at this already look how beautiful and those are only dollar tree florals i think that's pretty pretty amazing and if you're loving the budget friendly thing you know you're on a budget you need to be careful about what you spend and where this is a fantastic way to do it get your florals from the thrift store get them from dollar tree you know recycle them take them out of another project that you've done that maybe isn't your thing anymore just pick those out and use them again i have done that billions of times yes i would say billions that's pretty close to it i've been doing this for over three years now so there's been a lot of things taken apart and reused all right so we've added just a few of the little red ones in there and then i'm gonna add the rest of these smaller purple ones here and there she's gonna get a little fluff before she goes in there and i always try to pick the best ones i've noticed sometimes when i'm using florals from dollar tree they'll have like a little track in them or a little skip and I just sort of avoid those or turn them where that petal is downward. Now, if you have any doubts, you can add a little glue there. These stems were short and they didn't get as much depth in there. So I'm just going to give them a little dot of glue here and there just to hold those in. This beautiful velvet ribbon came from Dollar Tree. I'll use two rolls of these. They're only three feet. So I knew that I wanted some long tails on my ribbon so we're going to make double tails i'm going to use the first roll just to make the bottom layer or the longer layer of the tails look at all that fallout on my table what a mess just to sweep it right down into the trash can that's all you gotta do so i am going to dovetail mine but you can do a slant i think there's something really beautiful elegant and mystical about the velvet you know it's like a faux crushed velvet or velour i guess but it's really pretty it's only on one side of the ribbon but the way we're making this bow you won't even see the inside of the ribbon you shouldn't be able to see it so then i'll use the other roll to make just a simple bow here very easy and then i'm just using a little leftover piece of pipe cleaner and you know you could use pipe cleaner as well to attach things down to your wreaths and to your arrangements got a lot of options then I'll fluff a little bit and add this right over the other one. I can use that little piece of pipe cleaner. It's got wire on it and just poke it down into the, the broom handle area and then add a little glue and it'll stay in place. Now, if you don't like bows, by all means, leave the bow off of yours. We want to make it our own, right? Absolutely make it your own. Just put a little bend in the ribbons to give them a little movement and interest you can do this or you can curl them or you can leave off the bow whatever you choose right in the middle i will put my last cosmos and i think that will do it the broom already has a hanger i made sure when i laid it down to orient that hanging piece to the back and she is ready to go Thank you to my channel members. Love you guys. See you soon. All right, so the next one is our festive orange broom. I'm going to use some deco mesh from Dollar Tree. Whatever you want to use to attach your pieces together. 
these beautiful black eyed Susans in orange. So pretty. Some of these black and glittery leaves from Dollar Tree. Some of these little pieces of willow. These are like an orange or coppery color. And then another one of those brooms. A thrift store find indeed. Nobody ever picks these up. Except me, of course. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to start with these. I'm going to place them here and there all over the bottom of this broom. You're going to see me move some stuff. I am leaving all of that in because I want you to see that editing makes a difference when you make a video and some people edit out all the struggle and I don't think I want to do that in my videos because I want you to see that, you know, even experienced crafters, even YouTubers, we sometimes make mistakes and we sometimes struggle and we have to undo things and redo them. So we're not perfect and you should not expect yourself to be either, right? That's right. Now I'll take one and put right in the top, a little flare, if you will, right there, into that first little tied section over where you sweep. We're going to flatten out these leaves too, because if you notice the pick is very bunched right now, in a minute you're going to see what it looks like when you get it all ironed out. We're just going to call it ironing because it really does make them flat and pretty. Keep your heating tool moving though, but look at the difference. Those are nice. I'm going to cut those off into individual pieces, leaving one on the original stem so that it's a longer piece. And then I'm going to put that longer piece in here to be the center. Yes, perfect. I do this pretty often. When I'm cutting picks apart, I like to leave one on a long piece if I know that I have a larger piece that I'm working with. You can always cut it off later if you don't need it, right? But it's a lot more difficult to put it back. All right, so I'm going to keep putting these down. Now, I know the glitter is a lot for some people, and that's totally fine. If you don't like glitter, take this inspiration and use something different. But I thought for a Halloween party or a Halloween theme, maybe Halloween night when the trick-or-treaters are coming, that they would really enjoy this beautiful pop of orange and black on your door. Wishing you a happy and safe Halloween and trick-or-treating experience, right? That's right. No negativity at all. Only goodness on Halloween night for the kiddos. I'm going to add one here, a little bit off to the side. I like that. Everything does not have to be perfectly symmetrical. We're going to put a bend in these flowers, the same as we did the other ones. So that rather than facing up and away from each other, they are facing outward for the people who are going to be seeing them. Even if it's just for you in your own home, if it brings you joy, do it. All right, now I'm going to just work around, and you will see me using the glue gun a little bit more here. Sometimes when I put the flowers in, they're actually still in the wet glue from the other piece so i'll put the floral in right into the glue of the other piece so you won't see everyone being glued down now did you see what i did there with the petals on the flower they're actually in there in two layers they're often in two three layers but from dollar tree it's mainly two from my experience you just want to take that in your hand and then twist the little petals around so that it opens the flower up and you can see all of them rather than having both layers sitting on top of each other and your flower looks kind of sad and thin. You want to fluff it out to make it look its absolute best. See what I mean here? You twist it and look at the difference that makes. Automatically, very quickly, makes a huge difference. So the ones with the longer stems we're going to put on the bottom so that they can reach up into the thick part. And spin it around again and they'll stay locked in place better. Always, always fluffing my bows, my greenery, my florals, so they look their best. Just like when you're ready to go out and do something and, and meet with people, you want to look your best. So you're going you're gonna to put your earrings on, you're going to fix your hair, put your makeup on, make sure everything looks nice. All right, so for this, we're actually going to do a little bundle of these rather than doing a bow. So this is another option for you. And again, if you don't like something like this, you do not have to do it. But this is so easy. We're just going to make little rolls. Roll, roll, roll. And it's already trying to roll back on itself because that's how it comes when you buy it, right? It's all rolled together. 
but I want to tighten the roll up just a little. So I'm going to do three pieces and put a clip on them just to hold them in place while we move on to the next one. Roll, 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 roll. The bigger you allow that roll to be, the bigger your bow or your little bundle will be. So if you get them real tight, they're going to be small. You make them about the diameter of quarter or better, then they're going to be bigger. I'm just going to use jute here to tie these three together. And I will leave my string long so that I can use that to tie it onto the broom. And look how pretty that is when you, when you get it all fluffed out. Make sure that your edges are toward the back so you don't see all that stuff. And we're just going to put it right on the top above where we put that first black leaf over the top of the willow branch that we put down on the top. So just give it a good double knot or triple knot. And then you can also add a touch of hot glue back there to keep it in place if you're concerned. Or you can do that with wire or zip tie, whatever you like. This is how this one is looking so far. I think it is very pretty and festive. Now I thought, why don't we hang this like somebody, you know, sort of going to look like somebody would be wearing a guitar. You know how you kind of have it slung across your body. So I thought, well, why don't we have this broom in the position that maybe the broom is flying. So I chose to use jute for this. You could use a ribbon um, or you can just use the original hanger and have it hung straight up and down. You could certainly do that. But this is pretty too. And I always want to give you options, right? So to give it a little more support is where I can tie it. I started off with one of these little dowel rods. If you use a dowel rod that is thicker, it's going to serve you better. It's going to do better because I had to actually put two together to hold the weight so that this would not lean forward. And I'm just putting some glue on here and pushing this up into the substantial area here. You can see where there's little green pieces poking out from my stems. I'll cut those off to clean that up. I want to make everything look pretty. Then I'll decide how long I want that hanging piece to be. And then I'll start wrapping and tying around the end of this piece. I'm going to wrap, 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 and then loop it around the cord there. And then wrap, wrap, wrap some more. Loop it around. Wrap, wrap, wrap. Add some hot glue to keep it from sliding on that stick. And then when I held it up, it still wanted to kind of go forward. So I went ahead and added a second one to it and just zip tied those two together. Just a little time saver. But like I said, use a bigger diameter of a dowel there and it's going to do better for you. And then now I can definitely hang it at an angle like that rather than having it straight up and down. The next is going to be a purple mini broom. This is for y'all if you don't have a big one, but you like the idea of doing this. So I've got a little Dollar Tree pumpkin, some ribbon from Dollar Tree, scraps of greenery that I keep, and then a couple of flowers, this one little pick of flowers from Dollar Tree. Very pretty, smaller scale because we're using a smaller broom, and then some faux pine cones that I thrifted. These are fake. So this broom was very easily made from Dollar Tree. You can get this little sweeping section and a stick and then push the stick down in there, use some hot glue and hold it together. That's easy. And this one smells like eucalyptus. It is so yummy. They have cinnamon and eucalyptus at my store. So you can find either one. They're not in the seasonal section. They're more over there where you get the, the rocks and the sand and the other pieces of branches, you know, the more natural elements. So I'm just showing you here that you can use a little hot glue and another pick if you don't have, you know, if you've just got little scraps but no stem, just use a stem from something else. I save my little pieces of stem because for me, they work great to use in other things and it came in handy here. Some of them you can just pull right off the branch and you don't have to do anything extra. So I'm going to start by putting these little, it almost looks like a, an evergreen type piece. 
and I'm going to push it straight up. Same type of idea as we did with the other one, the other two brooms. But because this broom is small, this is actually going to be covered a little bit more. It's going to look more substantial. You'll see what I mean. Sometimes I know what I'm saying in my head, but it comes out of my lips totally different. I know you know what I mean. Real quickly, while you watch me do this, I want to say thank you to Dawn and Annie and Monica for inviting me to be in the Witching Season collab with them. This is very fun for me. This is Friday the 13th. It is the last Halloween video that I will be doing for 2023, which makes me kind of sad because I really love it. But no worries, because the rest of the year I am going to be doing mystical and fairies and all that kind of stuff too. So you'll see seasonal things and then you'll see all kinds of magical things. All right, so now I've got most of my greenery in and I'm just gonna put as much as I feel like I want to in there. You know, you keep going until, you, until your brain screams, hey, hold up. And some people tell me when they watch my videos that they would have stopped a long time ago. Well, that's totally okay. You're gonna do what makes you happy, right? That's the way it's supposed to be. And you wanna make it your own. You always wanna make it your own. That's what's great about crafting in general. You can watch 75 YouTube creators who make things, but I guarantee you, they're gonna be different. You're gonna see a different spin on everybody's channel. So I encourage you to go check out more YouTubers, you know, Maybe somebody new that you haven't met yet, you haven't watched before, and go support them. I can tell you from experience, like I said, three years, it takes a lot of work to run a crafting channel when you do things on your own. And most of the people that I know do it all on their own. So give them some love, give them some support. Go to their channels after my video and tell these wonderful creative ladies that I sent you and give them a chance to show you how creative that they are as well. And by the way, Annie is going to be giving y'all a little history on Halloween, so be sure that you watch all of us, okay? All right. Now look at the flowers. Oh, so pretty. But you can see how all of these little branches are going to go all the way down to the bottom of the broom rather than just focused on the middle of the broom or the upper part of the section that sweeps. So just, you know, kind of, I'm kind of focusing this all over because it's really cute and I want it to really stand out despite the fact that it's a little broom. This could be a leaner somewhere. You could lean this up against your coffee station. How cute would that be? You could hang it off your rear view mirror in the car. You could give it as a gift. I would love it if somebody gave me something like this. Just imagine one of your friends is having a bad day. They're not, you know, they're just, their energy is low. They're not feeling great. They're having just trouble after trouble after trouble. How sweet would it be to give them a little broom like this and then explain to them why, you know, what these brooms represent. That you you are wishing to sweep away any negativity and attract positivity into their life. And I think the sentiment is so sweet. I'm definitely going to be doing more of these through the year. Because I think they're precious and I love the meaning of it. And who doesn't love mystical and magical, y'all? Who doesn't? We all need that in our lives. Just because we're adults doesn't mean we have to grow completely up, right? Got to keep that childlike joy in our heart. And I wish that for all of y'all. All right, so what if you don't have fake pine cones? Then you can go to Dollar Tree and get a bag of theirs. They have very nice tiny pine cones. And you can use those so that you can have some natural elements in there. You could also use some dried flowers in here. If you had them, that would be very pretty. You know, the more natural the elements, probably the better. Well, we're going to do what we can with what we have. Not everybody has access to a park. Uh, not everybody has a yard. Some people live in apartments or, you know, facilities where they don't have access to things. So we're just going to use faux things, right? We'll just use the faux things. All right, so I'm going to make a little stem for this pumpkin. There's a name for it, but I cannot remember what it is. Do y'all know the name? What's the name of the stem for a pumpkin? Then I'm going to fashion some leaves out of some greenery that was already on that pick that we just used. And I'm gonna do my best to make them look like leaves. Tiny, tiny, tiny little pieces here, but they're in scale with my pumpkin. I'm gonna overlap them here. 
and then I'm going to put them right by the stem and sort of push them down into the little dent that I made or the little opening that I made with the uh, when I put the stem in there gives them it kind of lifts them up off of there it gives them a nice little look then I am going to take another piece of the greenery branch I saved I'm going to push it in at an angle add a little glue you got to be careful with foam and hot glue though so just be super careful I'm going to get rid of that spider web and then I'm just going to push this down right here sort of beside those pine cones and I love it it's so tiny and cute what colors do you think you would choose if you did the little brooms I like the purple and the orange for Halloween and fall I think that those are those are fitting I really enjoy those colors this year all right so we're going to make a little bow to go on here very easy on this ribbon and I, I guess this was it's in a red packaging so I suppose I got this maybe last year for Christmas but I keep all of my ribbons together um, so I can just I just use them whenever I feel like I want to use that color this to me looks like fall or could be summer could use it any time of year really not just Christmas time and then I'm going to decide where I want to put it right above the pine cone and pumpkin there and then a little glue will keep that in place and when you're gluing things be sure that you're actually gluing it onto something solid not like a leaf that's just poking up because it's going to fall right back off and then I take another little piece of that greenery and go across the middle of the bow just for a little extra something But again, you don't have to keep adding. You can make yours very simple. You don't have to do it like me. This is simply for inspiration. And I hope that you like it. We are going to make a little tie for the top. And this is just a little, a simple little tie for the top of it. I'm just gonna tie one little knot slip it over the end of the broom and tighten it up you can add a little hot glue so it doesn't slide anywhere and then one more little tie at the top slide the knots together trim off any little excess frayed area or you can leave it and you can actually make a hanger out of the same that you made your bow with if you wanted to some of that ribbon cutting that off and I'm just securing it to make sure it doesn't slide it's not very heavy though so it's not gonna tend to pull downward and pull off but just to be sure and it's all ready to go I would love this as a gift from somebody just me personally I'm all about positive energy. All right, y'all have got to forgive my background because I've started taking things down and getting ready for Christmas, but this is what we have. There's the big purple broom right next to the little one, just so you get an idea of the scale. And then I have hung the orange one here sideways. I left that hanger on there I ask you today to believe in yourself believe that you can do things just because it takes a little more time does not mean it's hard to do and I think it's time well invested when you invest in yourself when you believe in yourself and your abilities as a crafter to create things that really bring you joy we don't always get it right the first time but you know you just try try again right you just keep going you hone your skills like any other skill you have and you'll get there if you enjoyed the video please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel be sure you hit the notification bell on the side I appreciate you being here go check out the links in the description box below to watch the rest of the collaboration bye